Hi everybody and welcome back to JKR Wicketing World in Minecraft by Dragonfly Sarah. I'm Dragonfly Sarah and I'm happy to announce that we are starting series two today, Hogwarts Grounds. I'm going to turn around in a moment and show you the road to the village, or from the village to the school rather. And we will also be doing a quick excerpt from Excel to show you the groundwork that I'm using. And then we'll hop back into Minecraft and build the main gates to the school today. Enjoy! Okay, let's head down the road. As you can see here, not for the faint of heart, there are some rather long drops if you fall off the edge getting up the hill. But uh, do remember that uh, Hogsmeade is in the foothills um, to the north of the school, so it's reasonable that we go up. You'll notice here that we have a signpost. From this point, it is 132 meters along the path to get to Hogsmeade Village. If you're coming from the school, Hogsmeade Village is this way, 148 meters. I very carefully calculated those, and you'll see that each intersection has a signpost. Um, and the uh, distances aren't on all of them quite yet. Um, I'll get to that eventually. You have to count them very carefully. Um, Hagrid would have to break some leaves or go around some trees to follow the path appropriately. I'm not sure if I'm going to um, edit that or not. I think I probably should, but seeing as Hagrid isn't actually going to be walking the path, um, it doesn't seem like something I need to do immediately. You will notice that we go over a couple of caverns. I did not light the path, by the way. Um, it's a wizarding world. There are some dangerous places. And so I thought, hey, if monsters spawn along the path, well, the kids shouldn't have been out after dark anyways. As we go around this last curve, we come up to the location where we will build the main gates to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So let's look over in Excel and see what we're going to do. Okay, everyone, now that you've walked from Hog Hogsmeade Village to the, where we're going to have the gates of the school, let me pause here and explain the blueprint I used and how I created it. First of all, I used all canon material, and as you'll see on the screen, it doesn't fit on one screen. In fact, I can shrink Microsoft Excel all the way down to 10%, and it doesn't fit. This is because... East to west, it's 1,351 blocks. North to south, it's 861 blocks. And it's just too large to fit. But I've done it all out and in detail. The blueprint, the whole one, shows the castle, the grounds, the village, the train station, the forest, the lake, the greenhouses, the whole nine yards. There currently are, and will be added to, different sheets in the workbook. And the sheets indicate um, the blueprints for individual floors. So Hogwarts Castle is two dungeon levels plus nine floors, if you include the towers. Um, and I obviously can't put that on one blueprint. <laughs> so the main blueprint only shows the ground floor and all of the other levels are shown on different blueprints on different sheets now as i switch over to this image you'll see the gate and you see where it goes indicated by the numbers um on the top which are your east west y uh x coordinates and your z coordinates along the edge and when I've got a detailed po point, something that I want to go, 
wow, this is going to be complicated to build. Um, I oftentimes have these little in intakes um, where I show what I'm going to start with. Um, you'll see me start with that in the video shortly. So, without any further ado, let's jump right back on into Minecraft. Okay, everyone. So, I cleaned up the area a little bit, and I laid down the base according to the blueprint in Excel. Now, from here, we're going to build the column up, and... Uh, start, you know, making it aesthetically pleasing. I will see y'all in a bit. Okay, so what I think I need to do here is add a different block up the middle. It looks too flat to me. Um, so I'm going to put this... Uh, pillar block in and see if that improves my situation any. <clears throat> no, that looks stupid. Undoing that. I think we might come back and redecorate this when we put the wall in. I don't know what else to do to it right now. Okay. Enough of that. Okay. So what happened there is that I accidentally had white concrete rather than quartz blocks in my inventory. And making that change, I think this looks a lot better. There's a lot more depth to it. And um, my next idea is that instead of blocks up at the top, uh, instead of quartz on the top of the pillar under the statue, I'm going to do sea lanterns. And this is going to, um, it's, it shouldn't look bad because you can't actually see it from the ground. You'd have to be flying to see it. And it will provide the necessary light at the top of this. Um, to prevent monsters from spawning on top of the gate. So. Okay. That's one pillar completed. Um, now for the boar. Well, it's a winged something. I'm not so sure about the boar part. So, I'm going to make an attempt to pause the video here. And I'm going to go online, look up Minecraft pigs, and try to redo my blueprint, basing it off of the blocky pig already in Minecraft. Maybe that will help me. Because the, the feet were okay. The wing is sort of okay. It needs to be edited a little bit. But the head is... It looks like a dog. I, I'm pretty sure it looks like a dog. Hold on one second while I drag someone else into this video. Everybody meet my sister, no, Mary Beth. I'm not moving into the video. It looks like a dog. Actually, it looks like a staircase with a beard. <laughs> Okay, so if y'all heard that, that was my sister Mary Beth. I love her very much. I've lived with her forever. And um, she is much more of an artist than I am. So I'm going to take her word for it. And I am going to pause the video here. Okay, everyone. So this is a Minecraft pig. One block per pixel. Um, he's a little big for our... Uh, column so I am going to half him and then get back with you again 
See you in a few minutes. Okay, so this is as close to half as I could get it. And I think he's about the right size. But um, I need to... Uh, change him up a little bit. Um, I think that he should be sitting down, you know, butt down with bottom legs out. And then I need to back him up maybe one or two blocks. I'm not sure. So, and uh, maybe if any of you are artists that work in Minecraft that, you know, really know what you're doing... You can uh, give me pointers for next time on an organic. Because I'm thinking this is going to be real interesting. Okay, everyone. One wing done. The pig needs to be... Uh, I think I need to take this off. No, that didn't help. Um, actually, if I take off... all of that and put that there maybe with that on top of it now that looks like a beak try again Okay, I'm going to get a second opinion on this, and I'll be back with you to f do the other wing if my second opinion is good. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so sister helped me. She decided he should be standing up and help me with the face a little bit and with my color scheme, which is what I'm going to change now. I'm going to test out a couple of things. Um, I'll get back to you when I have the color scheme all worked out to finish the other wing as promised. Okay, so color scheme finished. We added tusks to turn it from a pig into a boar. And I fixed the lighting situation. Okay, I almost fixed the lighting situation. Um, so on top of the pig, it was pretty easy. I used brown carpet on top of... Um, sea lanterns, but on the wing, I couldn't find anywhere to hide the sea lanterns, and the torches are a little less obtrusive, so that's the way we went there. Now, I'm going to um, duplicate this wing on the other side of our pig turned boar, and that is one complete pillar and bore. And now I am going to put in the other one by using world edit um, to select it, copy it, and paste it rather than having to rebuild it all over again. So um, let's see how this works. Okay. Now, here's hoping that when we get the wall in, this doesn't appear to be too terribly huge. The wall should come up to just, including the crenellations, just below the ridge here. Um, and it will be three wide, which will be this block, this block, and this block. So all the courts on the inside. Um, so it's, it's going to be a huge wall, but, you know, Hogwarts is a huge castle. So... I mean, you can imagine the size that Hogsmeade is, and look at the distance between Hogsmeade Village and here. J.K. Rowling had a huge amount of space in that little itty-bitty map that she drew. So, um, I'm just going to put the gate in now, 
and it looks like the entrance will be complete. Um, and if I do show myself, this doesn't look that bad. Okie dokie then. These are the welcoming gates to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Okay, everyone. So next time, we're going to be terraforming the area in order to appear as it is described in the book. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed watching me play. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.